create departments, how to create positions and area, and how to link an employee to the department position and area. So first, I'm going to create a department and I name it technical or IT. So uh, you can also choose to let this department be under a parent department. That's if you have a department, you can uh, let this technical department be under this department. So, uh, but now I want my technical department to stand alone. Then I click on OK. Then I go to position. I can also create a position. So position is uh, hierarchy levels. Let's say senior manager, manager, um, admin, all those things. So um, in the organizations, I know we have the HODs. So I can say position name HOD. So you can also have uh, a parent position also for this. But here I want uh, the HOD to stand alone. So I'm going to click confirm. Then I go to uh, employee. Then I click on hard employee ID. So I, I'm creating my employee now. I click on one. So remember when you are creating your employee, the asterisks are very important. They are very important. So I click on one department. I click on finance position HOD. Then the area. Oops, uh, we've not created the area yet. So I'm going to quickly do that. So we create an area. So area is actually very important for the device. You have to create an area uh, so that uh, whatever device you are adding will be identified to the area. So yeah, I'm going to create an area. Area is actually uh, the entry place of the device. So I'm going to give it, um, let's say, um, uh, I'm going to give this kitchen. I'm going to give this uh, Lagos, sorry. So you can also have a parent area. Let's say uh, in Lagos, we can uh, we can have uh, Lagos State here. In Lagos, uh, the area name can be Victoria Island. Victoria Island. So just to like give you like a specific view. So, but now I want this area to stand alone. So let me, I'm going to be using Victoria Island. So if you want to create a another area and add a parent area, I can do Lagos. Then I can create, then I can add Victoria Island under Lagos. So once I do that, I can now go to my employee and create my employee. So I'll create my employee. I'll give him the idea of one department, finance or technical position, HOD area. So I can give it Lagos. So you are going to see the split set. So you can decide to say Lagos or you give it uh, Victoria Island. So I'm going to say Lagos here. So if you want to spe specific, you can unselect this and click Lagos. You are going to see Victoria Island. So but for here, I'm going to be clicking Lagos. So first name, first name John. So my I'm actually particular about the asterisks because that's what only what we are set my info feed. If I click on confirm, it won't accept me. So I have to like complete the details. So the phone number, I'm just going to be putting a random phone number. Then the email, I'm going to be putting a random email. Gmail.com. For now, for this test, so you put your employee's email and the phone number. These fields are very important. And then I click confirm. Yeah, so that's how to create department position area and employees.